Scout's head. Yes! I just want to see this work. Let's go. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Sin Zed. This is going to be an all in Zed and Lee Sin deck. And you could definitely play this with Fiora instead of Lee Sin if you like. Um, but we're going to be playing it with Lee Sin and Zed. The reason why we're uh, playing with these two and really what we're trying to do here is put field promotion with both champions. Field promotion is going to be able to give our champion scout so that therefore they can attack twice every single round. As you know, Zed attacking twice every single round, that's going to be pretty amazing, right? Because you'll get like the Zed attack with the Living Shadow um, twice. That, that sounds incredible, especially round three, being able to do that. So that's really what we have going on here. Um, a couple of chain vests that can also protect as far as like the six mana goes for like round three. If we go like field promotion, Zed have a couple chain vests in there to protect it also. Um, but same thing with Lee Sin, especially if we can cast eight spells, get the leveled up Lee Sin. This having Scout, where you get to just do the whole Dragon's Rage thing twice and just take out two, two blockers and bounce them and everything, that sounds incredible. So that's what we're going to be doing. We also have Laurent Bladekeeper in here to grant our uh, champions plus two, plus two. We have River Shaper in case we don't have our champions. We can be doing River Shaper also. Um, but then we have a bunch of rallies. Cataclysm, Relentless Pursuit. Because if we uh, can play one of these on like our opponent's attack round, right, like the round that they have the attack token, we, pay, we play Cataclysm with our like Zed, get a free attack. Um, then if it has Scout... Once you free attack with the scout unit, then we you get to attack again. So, you know, like this can be uh, multiple attacks also. And then protection. We got um, Sharp Sight and Twin Disciplines and Notify. Um, Prismatic Barrier, just because it's cheaper than Repost. Uh, just got that in here. Same with like Pursuit over Golden Ages, just getting the cheaper card. And then uh, at four mana, we got Deny and Spirit's Refuge. Spirit's Refuge for that lifesteal that could be very important, especially if you're attacking multiple times, that lifesteal... Uh, can really add up and then deep meditation to keep the gas going so not very many units we got 15 units we got Lee Sin, Zed um, as our two champions and then Eye of the Dragon, River Shaper and Blade Keeper as the other units and then just all spells. All right so let's get to it let's try out some field promotion Lee Sin, Zed, rallies, scouts, all that kind of stuff. All right, so we got a control deck to start with. Zillion Echo with Vi. I like this hand. Yeah, we have the attack token round three with Zed. We have Nopify and Twin Disciplines protecting it. We have the Blade Keeper to grant it the plus two, plus two. Unfortunately, the other Zed is about the worst draw we can have, right? Because the, the second Zed's not going to do anything. I guess the second Zed could Living Shadow the Blade Keeper back to our hand. And then Blade Keeper of the first set again, but yeah, it's not not that good. But anyway, the rest of our hand is great. And plus, if they have like multiple spells here that kills the Zed, I guess we can always just play a new one. So we got the backup Zed. Let's go with that first. It's going to be more difficult. They can't just use another Mystic Shot. It's going to be more difficult for them to deal with. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. River Shaper's cool. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Cataclysm. Basically playing this because it lets me keep my Nopify available. And... I like getting more attacks in. Alright, so I can open attack. But I kind of want to just play this Blade Keeper. Yeah, I kind of want to just play the Blade Keeper. For the honor of my house. Hmm. 
Good drop order. <laughs> they do not want my Zed to level up. So I'm going to have the Zed level up, because they don't want it. So, deal with it. Because we get the super sweet animation! Boom. Blown up planets. Vi is the card that I'm scared of. Besides Vi, not too scared of too much else. Alright, well they do have Vi. So we're gonna need Prismatic Barrier. Yeah, I guess so we're gonna pass, because <clears throat> we can have Prismatic Barrier plus Nova Vi, okay. They pass back to me as well. Did they get the Hexite Crystal? I hope not. They did. They found the Hexite Crystal. Mm. That makes playing like River Shaper worse. But I guess we have Nopify for the Hexite Crystal. Yeah, we're gonna have to Nopify that thing. Dude, isn't that level up so good? So that's level up. Water changes, but never breaks. Still alive for now. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. <laughs> Alright, good. I th I'm glad they didn't time trick first and find like a mystic shot and then be able to shoot Zed with a mystic shot. I was very scared of that. Hey, it's Zill. Totally didn't know you were coming. We also had sarcasm in the <laughs> Yeah, either dragon is to just kind of slow the opponent down, but yeah, maybe it doesn't really fit. Ugh, because drawing either dragon like this is just brutal. I guess we just attack. I have many faces. Just a moment. Tell me. I love that. Surprised they're not blocking River Shaper. Like, they're blocking this 3 3 instead of River Shaper. Oh, I guess because it was lethal, that's why. I guess that makes sense. Ooh, that could be good. But they got this time trick. Hold the world. 
within. Still should be fine. I was hoping they were going to display the uh, the landmark, you know, that would do one to everything, but they should still be fine. Alright, there we go. See, that's why you have Eye of the Dragons. You gotta do that extra damage. That one extra damage. Wanna know? Shadow Isles, Sharima with no champions. What we got going on over here? What do we got going on over here? So I want to find the champions, of course, right? Like, Lee Sin and Zed. I think those are the two most important cards to see. Like, having a hand with none of them, we're just going to mulligan. All right, Agent Iowa, have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out here all day. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, River Shaper, right? We could keep River Shaper also. Is it just have like a Protect River Shaper and then River Shaper keep drawing all the spells and stuff like that. But like those are like the main three. There we go. That we're going to want to see. Let's go with the Eye of the Dragon. Because Eye of the Dragon allows us to keep two mana available still. Alright, so am I... I can like spend a Sharp Sight to kill the... Bark Beast. But I guess I just keep us. that two mana to help protect Zed instead. That's not bad. Round two deal seven to me with me having a blocker, and if <laughs> if Doomkeeper wasn't nerfed, that would have put me down to eleven. What if you played Pike like Fiora? I think you could, you know, like all in Pike. Spears ready. Yeah, Pikes. Pike is incredibly powerful. Man, this is a this is a hand. The 3-3 three, three or the 4-2? I guess the 4-2. I mean, you... Oh, I... What? I thought... I thought I'd still get the attack. Alright, so I'm going to go down to 8. That was... That glimpse beyond was awesome, then. If it denies the attack. We swim within the flows of magic. Yeah, I mean, you could do, you could do like entreat Pike to help find Pike. But they're saplings. I don't know if that would work out pretty well. My saplings, a gift from the river folk. I am shackled. My skill is unrivaled. They're just super aggro. Strike, we will reform. Really need that uh, lifesteal barrier card. What 
form will the waters take? Ah! Or deny or notify. I would have been. I would have felt better about deny or notify. Either one. I have many faces. Okay, cool. Game's not over yet. Lifesteal Barrier? Let's go! Because then they would give the other, because it's leveled up so it gives the Living Shadow the same thing. So we'd add two seven power Lifesteal Barriers. Ooh, had it the whole time. All right, another aggro deck. Let's see if we can outrace this one. All right, so we got Lee Sin. I don't know if Lee Sin's gonna be able to outrace this, you know, against aggro. Like Lee Sin's great against other decks, but I kind of feel like we need Zed V aggro. So does that mean that we just send them all back? Maybe, maybe we just have to send them all back. Okay. I want to get the scout card. Can we get scout said? I want scout said. We haven't gotten scout card yet. Scout said. Yes! I just want to see this work. To the Let's go. If they have Nocturne Fervor, we're just <laughs> going to be super sad. Okay. No Nocturne Fervor. It's not yet. Man, this is this feels so broken. <laughs> Attack for twelve. Like yeah, twelve very difficult to block on round three. No, I, I wouldn't say the scout card's only good in the aggro matchup. Like the scout card's great against like your like avalanche control decks, like your watcher deck. Definitely considering playing the Relentless Pursuit, and then we get to attack a whole lot more. Yeah, I, I think that's my best play. Right, I could just play Blade Keeper, turn this into a 6-5. Maybe I just do that, like Blade Keeper blocks Ballista. Maybe it's just Blade Keeper. Yeah, maybe it's just Blade Keeper. Yeah, if I would have gone the Relentless Pursuit, we get two attacks this round and two attacks the next round. Man, that is risky. They're just throwing away both of their units. Those are some blockers you're just throwing away right there. Wow, they are just throwing away their blockers. I don't exactly know what they're doing here. Besides throwing away the very valuable blockers. Only the worthy survive, not people that throw away blockers. Alright, GG's. They will all learn to feel my order. Scout said, pretty awesome. I agree. Says this is a good day to end good deck to end a long day with. Definitely agree. This is just Just throw your cards down on the table, see what happens. Hope it works out. So we could keep Eye of the Dragon. 
we probably should. That's like the smart thing to keep Eye of the Dragon. The not smart thing is to just look for Zed again. And I kind of want to just go with the look for Zed again. They're going to be a hush deck. That's like cheating. I guess I keep Eye of the Dragon. Yeah, I guess we keep that one. Yay, no Zoe. If we don't have Zed, they don't get Zoe. That's just fair. That's just fair. Zed? It's not great. Yay, Lee Sin. Let's say we do get the draggling. And we get the, you know, deep meditation now at three mana. Sensil with the donation. Thank you. I'm guessing is that for a donation deck? And if so, let me know what you want me to build, or if you have a list for me to, to play, anything like that. Yes, I will play your deck. All right, awesome. Do you have a preference? There's the code right there. Do you have a preference on what day you'd like me to play it? It won't be today, of course. Today, today, like this is the last deck of the day, but I can play it tomorrow. Edit the deck and like try to tune it and upgrade it and everything like that first before, only three out of eight, before playing it, or do you want me to play the exact list? We're just gonna pass. I, I was thinking about doing the Cataclysm, kill the Mentor of the Stones. I think I'm just passing. Didn't get Scout Lee Sin, unfortunately. But they probably just like bounce it anyway. Okay. Alright, well, I will take a look at it before playing. Next question, I'm playing five decks tomorrow. Do you have a preference on like when when you would like me to play your deck? Like first, second, third? Anything like that? Ready yourself. I think I just pass. I gotta cast five more spells. Gross. All right, sounds good. Yeah, the problem is I can't really twin twin Lee and then Lulu even like because yeah, like these are like slow spells, uh, like they'd be able to vulnerable. I can I think I'm just gonna twin. Plus three, plus zero, challenge the young witch. I can't really, like, I don't have another burst spell to give the Lisa in the barrier, unfortunately. Yep, they did all correctly. Opponent smart. Opponent's great. They did all correctly. GG's. 
I should have cataclysmed the Mentor of the Stones before, but I guess they, no, they would have protected it, so like I wouldn't have been able to kill that Mentor of the Stones before I buffed up the Lulu. Yep. They did it all very well. Good game. We were able to kill the first Lulu. Second one killed me. Eye of the Dragon can be very good against scouts if we want to just like sit back and try to do like Eye of the Dragon stuff and spells, but it just it requires a lot of spells. I don't know if I have that kind of card advantage. All right, actually, because of like, I've, all right, I thought realize that yeah, they play a ton of challengers and everything like that. Because of all the challengers that they play, I'm not going to rely on Eye of the Dragon because they just challenge and kill Eye of the Dragon. There we go. So we need we need our guy. That's our man. Yeah, they would just challenge these Eye of the Dragons and kill him. Yeah, this this could definitely be Fiora. We we just wanted to play Lee Sin instead, but I wouldn't necessarily say that Lee Sin isn't performing that well. We we only had Lee Sin. We only found Lee Sin in one game, and my opponent had a very good hand against it with, you know, being very aggressive and also a lot of interaction and things like that and, you know, had barrier like yeah, I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't come to the conclusion that Lee Sin isn't performing well because of no prey. One singular game. Right, that's not that's not too fair to, to come to drastic conclusions over one game. But is noting that Lulu plus all the interaction spell and support things were faster than Lee Sin. Why did they play that Tattered Banner? I don't know why they played that card. Okay, so let's give Lee Sin tough and challenge the Valor. Yeah, they are willing to go down to a very low life total. So they kind of played that Tattered Banner for nothing. So, wait, so we know that they have an Elite in hand, right? Because they created that Tattered Banner. So we know that one of their cards is an Elite. So maybe like the that thing. So let's say the four mana card. That makes sense? Okay, pass. Just like hunting thresher geese. Cards are so good. Yeah. I have to play three spells to level up Lee Sin. Prepare yourself. I have many 
Yeah, I haven't seen the 10 mana Noxus card in action yet. I haven't seen it in action yet. We, uh, I will definitely play that card sometime this weekend, or maybe Monday, maybe for Meme Tier Monday. Um, you know, maybe tomorrow or the next day, but uh, Meme Tier Monday is a, a very high possibility. But we're going to be playing that card in the next few days to kind of try it out. That's a card people have been asking about, but I haven't really seen it in action yet, so I don't have a, a real grasp on what it's like yet. This deck was really fun. This was this was good. I mean, I think that, you know, Twin Disciplines, Field Promotion, I think these help Zed and kind of going all in Zed looks pretty good. All four of those games that we won, we had Zed attack in, doing its thing. The game we lost, we couldn't find Zed. Um, so yeah, this could definitely be Fiora also, right? Like, I, as I mentioned at the very beginning, we just wanted to go Lee Sin because I wanted to try, you know, like people in chat wanted to see Lee Sin with Scout and I also wanted to kind of see that too. You know, Lee Sin, Scout of, you know, if you get a leveled up Lee Sin with Scout being able to attack multiple times with that. Um, uh, but to be honest, this is probably a better Fiora deck because of how important it is to have just like that champion immediately on round three. And it's, it's a little difficult to wait until round five before you start going crazy with your Lee Sin. So I'd maybe re recommend having Fiora in here. I was really impressed with Cataclysm, especially with Zed and, and even Relentless Pursuit also, like in those extra attacks and very impressed with both of those. Fiora, of course, also gives you like the Blade Keeper grant the Fiora plus two plus two as well um another option for this deck though if you want to go a little bit cheaper over lee sin is shivana like shivana you know like how it has like that attack give me plus one plus one and you know if you get shivana with like shivana seems amazing with field promotion also right like being able to attack with this because you get that plus one plus one each time you attack and then they block with like little things and has fury and it gets bigger like that seems amazing and then obviously whenever you have your leveled up shivana with this with scout you know attack Plus two, plus two, strafing strike. Like, you're just annihilating everything. So that's another option if you want to try that instead of Lee Sin. If you just want to switch those two out, that's another good option as well. There's there's a lot of options. Like, all these champions, Zed, Fiora, Shivana, all these are amazing with field promotion. Even something like Garen. You know, like, Garen with Scout, you know, has that regen. Uh, you know, it's strike twice with the Scout. Level it up. Now round start rally that you are, you know, you're scouting with Garen with round start rally, like, each round. Yeah, that seems incredible too. So there's lots of good options for field promotion in these regions. In particular, those five cards. There we go. All right, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, so that was Lee Sin Zed. That's a fast one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. What other champions do you want to see with field promotion? We did two field promotion decks today. We did Pike Misfortune with field promotion earlier. Now we just did Lee Sin Zed, showing off the power of Zed with it. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me. What else do you want to see with it? And of course, as always, just what other kind of decks do you want to see built on stream? And I will build them and play them. All right, that's going to be it here for this one, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.